Hello, my name is Lou Jones, and welcome to another in the series on the care and feeding of speed lights. We all know about the incredible changes that digital photography has made to our profession. That same kind of change has been made with speed lights. There are computers in these speed lights now, and they have changed my lighting forever. We're here to talk a little bit about the fact that the energy that goes into all of our equipment, and especially speed lights, is supplied by batteries. We have for years and years been using double A's. They're the mainstay of our profession. I can buy them anywhere in the world. That's been an incredible convenience. But because they're so expensive and speed lights just eat batteries for breakfast, we've had to go to rechargeables. The rechargeables are now guiding our entire energy's consumption. And that's what we want to talk about today. With multiple lights, we have to have more and more batteries. These lights eat batteries for breakfast. It's very costly, but you have to have a main set of batteries, you have to have a backup set of batteries, and you have to have secondary batteries in case anything goes wrong with those batteries. So we buy them in bulk. It's really, really important that you have plenty of batteries. But that means you have another set of problems, and that is that you have to recharge. Recharge your batteries on set, in the studio, in your hotel room. Uh, there are basically three kinds of chargers. Fast charge, slow charge, medium charge. Uh, the fast, we have them right on the, in, on, maybe on an assignment where we need to have batteries recharged very quickly. The main ones that we use are the mediums. We buy this, we bought this online. We go in here, you can actually charge one battery or eight at a time. And then slow charge. And the slower you charge your batteries, the longer they'll last. When we buy a brand new set of batteries, we differentiate them. I think this is very important. I label them. When I buy a new set, I label them with another letter. So this is D, this is F. We have them A through G, I believe now. And that allows us to use them all together so that any given speed light has only A or only B in them at one time. That's as they get older, as they get, and as they age, we can use them and throw them away so that they're all being aged and used in the same time limit. Because we have so many batteries, storage becomes a problem. Uh, we buy these little cheap plastic containers. Sometimes they come with the uh, batteries when you buy a whole new set and we store them together. We store one letter in each one of them. As we said, we designate with them with different letters and we are able to put them in in a certain direction. We've got it actually listed on the bottom. It's written on the bottom of the, of the package. We've applied that ourselves. So that in one direction, they're charged. In another direction, they're not charged. On assignment, most of the problems occur because of batteries. As they get weaker, they become less and less reliable. It's a problem. They appear to be uh, working. It's really annoying, but they're just not doing what they're supposed to be. So that means we just, instead of investigating, we just take out all the batteries, supply with a new, new set. Also, because when we're using them very fast, they overheat. And as they overheat, they also start to fail. It's something that you're going to have to pay a lot of attention. That's why we did this series on batteries, because it's such an important part of our, uh, our, our lexicon. We deal with all of these situations in the book, Speed Lights and Speed Lights. Get a copy, you'll find out even more.